Thank you for viewing this car pistol takedown and reassembly video. We hope this further simplifies the takedown and reassembly process of car products. Shall we begin? When handling firearms, always assume a firearm is loaded. Always keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction. Always keep your finger off the trigger until ready to shoot. And lastly, always keep the firearm unloaded until ready to use. To begin, remove the magazine and ensure that the firearm is unloaded. Press the magazine release button to release the magazine. Now pull the slide back far enough to ensure the chamber is not loaded. To remove the slide, pull the slide back far enough to align index marks on the left hand side of the slide and frame. With index marks aligned, turn the gun over and tap the slide stop pin, moving it from right to left. Please keep in mind, index marks must remain aligned until slide stop has been completely removed. Use a flat blade screwdriver to pry the slide stop pin out about 1 8 to 1 quarter inch from frame. With the slide stop pin partially out, you can now grasp the slide stop, removing it from the frame. With the slide stop pin removed, pull the slide forward while pulling the trigger, removing it from the frame. When removing the guide rod and recoil spring assembly, be sure to hold the assembly firmly and point in a safe direction. Firmly grasp the recoil spring and guide rod, pulling it back, removing spring tension on the barrel lug. Slightly lift the recoil spring and guide rod enough to clear the barrel. Then carefully release the spring tension while removing the recoil spring and guide rod assembly from the slide. Remove the guide rod from the recoil spring. Note, the flange end of the guide rod mates with the closed coil end of the recoil spring. Grasp the lug on the barrel and with a slight twist, remove the barrel from the slide. When installing guide rod in recoil spring assembly, be sure to hold assembly firmly and keep pointed in a safe direction. To begin reassembly, insert the barrel into the slide. Insert the guide rod into the recoil spring. Please note, ensure the closed coil end of the recoil spring mates with the flanged end of the guide rod. Insert the open coil end of the recoil spring into the muzzle end of the slide. Firmly grasp the closed coil end of the recoil spring and guide rod. Compress the recoil spring enough to rest the guide rod flange against the barrel lug. Ensure that the wire spring over the slide stop pin hole is above the protrusion on the slide stop. Please see the correct location of the slide stop spring over the slide stop pinhole. Again, the slide stop spring must rest on top of the protrusion on the slide stop lever. Align the slide with rails on the frame 
and push the slide rearward onto the frame. Again, please note the protrusion on the slide stop. The wire spring on the frame must rest on top of the protrusion. With the slide in normal position on the frame, partially insert the slide stop pin, ensuring it goes through the hole in the barrel lug. Pull the slide rearward, aligning index marks on left hand side of slide and frame. With both index marks aligned, line up the slide stop and insert it into the frame. To lock open the slide, pull the slide back and push up on the slide stop lever. You now have completed assembly of your car pistol. For further information or any questions, please call Car Technical Support at 508-795-3919. When handling firearms, always assume a firearm is loaded. Always keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction. Always keep your finger off the trigger until ready to shoot. And lastly, always keep the firearm unloaded until ready to use. Please remember to visit www.carshop.com and www.tommygunshop.com for parts, accessories, and assorted gift items.